Today we are doing an airsoft survival challenge. We're going to drop the ball down the plinko board and whatever amount it lands on is the amount we all get to buy our airsoft gear, items, and supplies to build our airsoft shelters. War. Whoa. War never oh, changes. Please, please. Oh! $500! Hey! That's, that's pretty good. The problem is, I haven't been airsofting since I was a kid, so I don't know how much things are. This could be bad. I've never done airsoft in my whole life. Really? This will be my first time. It's gonna be me versus you versus you, you versus him versus me versus him again versus him. You guys are going down. All right, let's go to the store. <laughs> we just got to the airsoft section. So now we have to decide which airsoft blasters we want to use. Giant selection here. We each have $500, so. I like the look of the ripcord. Oh, oh probably broke it now. I don't even want that one. The ripcord M4 looks pretty cool. I like the color going kind of camo since we'll be out in the dirt. Right, when we got here, the guy told us, make sure we get electric because it is less prone to jam. I'm going to believe him. And so I went for electric. 450 feet per second. I see my first one I'm picking out. Yeah. Really? Oh, yes. You like the double mini blasters? Noisy crickets. Hey, okay, no, no, come on. They're pretty small. They only shoot 150 FPS. I do really want to go with a sniper because I can put a scope on here. This barrel is so long, it makes it pretty accurate, and I can stay pretty far away from uh, the boys there during the battle. When it comes to airsoft, it's all about the gear, so the first thing I'm going for is the masks. And look at this. Found a sick skull mask. Definitely going to get this and maybe some other things. For part of my loadout, I have to go with this revolver. Way too cool. And 425 feet per second, which is pretty powerful. This is gonna be clutch. These goggles are all basically the same price. I'm going with this guy, 25 bucks. Check this one out, guys. The Thompson M1A1 full metal body, and it holds, I think, 800 bullets? No, it doesn't. Holds 380 BBs, just enough to destroy these fools. So this and the revolver, Easy. For my outfit choice, I'm keeping it a little bit of a mystery. I have an idea, but I can't show you guys yet. Or himself for the rest of the video. <laughs> I found a scope for my sniper and also a red dot scope for my little whatever. It's in here, whatever it's called. But I'm gonna be scoped out. I found this tactical vest that fits within my budget. I'm not gonna have too much extra gear, but I definitely needed something to carry extra BBs and maybe an extra mag. I was gonna go camo because realistically that's way more practical and gonna hide me more and probably gonna help me win. But after putting this on, I can't resist going all black fit. If I'm gonna die, I gotta look cool doing it. I've been looking high and low for some camo gear that fits within the budget and I just found an insane deal. This is on sale for 40 bucks. Need a perfect overlayer for my camo surprise attack. Got him, didn't even see it. Dude, I did not know they had ghillie suits here. That is so insane. This is exactly what I need, but it has no price tag on it. How much is this? Tell me. Everyone knows that snipers wear ghillie suits. Found a great bag here, shoulder style. It can go like that, it unclips. I'm gonna get a nice fun patch to put on the front that represents my uh, country, which is, um, well, or whoever, uh, Votes? I don't know. <laughs> and I'm proud to be an American. Ouch. Oh, right. That was like two FPS. No, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but I felt that like pretty heftily. So I can't imagine when it's coming full 440 FPS at me. Wait till you see my sniper rifle. We're friends with everybody here. Oh, yeah, it's, it's like we spend like $50,000 a month here. <laughs> We finished getting all of our gear for the most part. We still have to go to Home Depot to get our shelters, supplies for shelters, and then we're gonna build our bases and begin this battle. Whoa! <laughs> did you hit his face on this? <laughs> <laughs> no, did you actually? Yes. We just made it to Home Depot. We gotta get all of our supplies to build our airsoft bases. I have a hundred bucks left. Not sure exactly how much I have left, but I don't need that much here because I'm prioritizing attack over defense. So my fort doesn't have oh. to be crazy fortified. I just know I gotta get some knee pads. Oh! <laughs> Did that actually hit you? Yeah. What's the matter with you? All right, Andrew, you ready? Okay. I got my cart. I gotta figure out what kind of base I wanna make. Oh! Guys, the bases are a very important location as it's where our basically our lifeline is at. We're gonna be able to refill balloons, which are gonna be the targets on our chest that we're trying to hit to eliminate each other. If our base gets destroyed, 
we're out of lives. Spaces might be more important than I was thinking. Oh. Was that funny? <laughs> <laughs> they don't have a lot of options. They're kind of low on the foam. I mean, look at this one. It looks like it was in the furnace. It melted. Not going to be very good for building a structure. I only have a hundred bucks. Unfortunately, they told us to stop filming in the Home Depot, but I did want to show you what I got. This is probably my most prized item. I've done airsoft and paintball before, and you're doing a lot of crawling around and kneeling. And if you don't have knee protection, it's going to be way less fun. This is my most clutch item, other than my weapon, obviously. Ah! So for the rest of my budget, I'm here at Glenn's Army Surplus. They got a ton of unique items and gear when it comes to airsoft stuff. So because I got a Tommy gun, I want my fit to match the vibe of the Tommy gun. So I'm looking for a more vintage type outfit. Paratrooper vibes. What do you think? They're gonna be scared, let's just say that. When it comes to an airsoft battle, you wanna make sure you have good enough shoes as well. Got some nice outdoor tactical shoes. This will go perfect. What is this brand? Glow sticks. Light, a tactical light orange. I think I might have stumbled upon the best glow sticks in the world. I think I found everything and more here. So you can say I'm ready for battle boys. I feel like I could have got so much more in there, but I didn't have any extra in my budget to get some of the cool stuff I saw in there. But I'm excited for what I did get. I think Isaac and Andrew have a rude awakening. I have made it to my spot that I'm going to be building my starting base. Step one, cut. Got my tool bag here. You grab this. Get some screws uh, and put it into the wood like this. I'm gonna have a shelter in no time. That's basically the first wall. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make four of these. That's how I make a wall. And I got a tarp for over the top. Think about maybe making a roof, but we'll see how the day goes. Also, another added defense if someone gets too close and just charges without looking. I got four walls built, and I just gotta stand them up, screw them together. These things go together like Legos, guys. <laughs> Come on. Building is so easy. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about, boys. Like if I just put a tarp over this, it's gonna be kind of low. But if I could kind of TP style it, or if I could build like almost just like a quick little angle, something like that might help it look kind of nicer. And you guys will vote for me for the best shelter. Solid as a rock. You guys can't see me, but it's almost done. I decided to set up my base at the very back of the property. I found this cool spot where I have the fence behind so I know no one's coming from back there. And I have these two trees that should add a little bit of extra coverage and protection if I'm in a long distance firefight. Like I said before, I'm gonna be mainly on the attack, so I'm not worried about comfort. Just a little structure that I can peek my little melon out sometimes and uh, something that'll keep my balloon safe. I shall begin. Oh, schmuck. It's actually really hot out. Uh, I unfortunately grabbed screws that were a little bit too long. So if anyone comes and charges, they're gonna get stabbed a little bit. Hey, I've seen this one, I've seen this one. Time to actually assemble these. Hope I'll be able to fit inside this thing. It's gonna be small. Yeah. All right. I don't even need a back, but I'll throw one little piece on there just for extra safety. It's actually a pretty good size. It's the perfect size for crouching so that my chest will be protected, but I can still scope out the land and pop some shots. All right, my fort is finished. Uh, it actually turned out a little bit better than I was expecting. This was the original vision. Halfway through, I was doubting myself, but this is actually the perfect size and exactly what I wanted. I got this little shelf here too, so I'll have all my extra ammo and any equipment right on here. I'm protected from all sides. Got a little gap here for the door, but even if someone sneaks up behind me, I can still be right in here. And just, ta -da, ta -da. I haven't seen the other two guys, but I'm sure there's can't be much better than this. This is where I'll be setting up my base. I went with a very cheap option from Walmart. This little, it's called this screen house from Walmart, the cheapest one I could find. The reason I went with the screen house base is because, check this out, based on the pictures, you can see through every single wall. So I don't need a duck or do anything. Super easy to set up, 
no tools required, but I'm not, I didn't really prioritize my base for two reasons. I ran out of budget, and second, I'm a more run and gun type player. I'm not gonna be camping at my base the whole time, immediately from the get-go, charging one of the bases. It's all about offense. Ha ha, literally perfect. Can zip up one end, come in here, 360 degree view of my surroundings, and an airsoft shouldn't go through this mesh. But now I just gotta tie it down so it doesn't blow away. And we're all ready. So we got my base set up in about five minutes. So now, before the battle begins, it's time to get geared up, show you guys our outfits, and the chaos ensues. What is that? It's a parachuter outfit, you freak. Ooh, ooh. Calm down. It's okay, make me mad, see I'll, what happens. I'll, I'll, you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. I wasn't saying it was bad, it, it kind of looks sick. Stop trying to retract your negativity. Don't get hot today, son. What? Putting on my sweet tactical pants. I really hope these fit, didn't try them on in the store, but they are my size, apparently. Oh, what? Where did you get that? They have these at Shields. I was looking for that at Shields. A full ghillie suit? Dang it! You're never gonna see me. Your balloons are gonna pop, and you're gonna be like, where's that coming from? Oh, that, oh! that sucks, actually. Ah, blow out my nipples! <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting on the combat boots I got. These are gonna be perfect for the battlefield. Dang. I'm literally disappearing. <laughs> Man, I should've just got sunglasses. What is this? That's the underwear. Yeah. Justin's looking like a paratrooper more and more. Do you know where he is? Even though it's a cool concept, he's such a different color than the rest of the grass. It's actually more obvious where he is. <laughs> that is pretty scary though. My entire loadout is ready. This small bag. I've got my speed loader right in the front. Boom! Easy access. Inside, I've got gloves, I've got three extra barrels of ammo, and I've got a little snack for later. On the back, I've got two water bottles, I've got my monopod for sniping, and my helmet, my ghillie suit helmet fits over this one perfectly. I've got my two blasters here. I'm actually gonna give one a little test while we're waiting. Oh yeah. For closer range battles, this bad boy with a red dot scope. And we're running. Activate the red dot, auto. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. For my loadout, I got the M4. This thing is technically plastic, but it's very high quality and almost feels like metal. I thought it was when, it, when I first picked it up out of the package. Got the metal mag, which is nice. So that feels pretty high quality and structurally sound. For my equipment, I'm going relatively minimalist. I wanna make sure everything is easily accessible and not gonna weigh me down. So I got just this vest, I have my speed loader here, and I have two extra tubs of BBs right here. If I am stuck in a firefight, I'm not gonna be fiddling around with zippers and bags and stuff like Andrew. I'm gonna be quick reloading and just sniping him in the face. On my side, I got my side piece right here the ap13 this thing has a semi and it also has an automatic setting so this thing will probably only be coming out if i am in close quarters and it's my last resort got these sweet knee pads give them a little test that's my go-to move <laughs> knowing that i can confidently kneel on any terrain don't have to worry about sticks don't worry about anything sticking me in the knee it's gonna give me more confidence for my sweet raids <laughs> Time to show you guys my outfit. I'd like to introduce you to the Skola Trooper. Got the hat here to block any glares from the sun. Got the skull mask to intimidate the enemies. And then of course we got the uh, one size paratrooper fit, top to bottom, along with the extra carrying pouches for water, extra ammo, booklet, all the gear I need, glow sticks. And right here, I got a little pouch for the revolver. Easy access, and of course, this guy. Here's how the solo airsoft challenge works. We're each gonna have balloons on us. If your balloon gets popped, you gotta go back to your base to get a new balloon. At our bases, we all have a helium filled balloon. If this balloon at your base gets popped, you have run out of lives. You're left with whatever's on your chest. And if that gets popped, you're officially dead. Last one standing is the winner. Let the games begin. Be the last one alive. Keep your base alive. Troops. <laughs> Ten hot. Uh, my balloon already flew away. <laughs> <laughs>
Carice tied right it to me. I guess you're out of the challenge. <laughs> nope, my balloon's still alive, so you guys gotta <laughs> pop that thing. May the best man win. May the best man win. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Oh. My gun fell out. Oh, home sweet home ho. Oh. Uh, let's go. Here's my base balloon. If this thing gets shot, no more respawns. First thing I gotta do, load up some ammo. Oh, it's so hot in here. Ah! I'm gonna go on a little secret sniper co-op mission. Not co-op, that didn't make any sense. I'm gonna go up over that hill right over there. I'm gonna post up behind a tree and just see what I can see with the sniper. That's all I'm bringing. Here we are. Just made it to blue base. Everything's looking good. Now I have to come up with a game plan. And I can't let this fall out again. Dang, there's my main balloon. This is good. It's underneath the wood, so someone's gonna have to catch all the way to me to actually pop my main source. Now, it's just a waiting game. I have to decide what my first move is. Should I play defensive, or should I go straight for someone else's base? One thing I fail to realize when I set up my base is that it is downhill. So if anyone does attack me, they're gonna have the high ground. That's not great, but I think we're still gonna make it work. I don't see anybody walking around, so I might try to push forward a little bit. But this is a really good spot in general. I like it, I can see my base. I'm on top of the hill, kind of. But let's get a little closer. For my strategy, I don't want to sit around in my base. Andrew's over there, Isaac's over here. I think I'm gonna be on the offense, or just I'll, I'll be in big trouble if Andrew sneaks up on my base. But I'm hoping that doesn't happen. Guys, Justin's base is just over this hill. I'm getting closer to Isaac's base. There we go. Whoa! Looks like somebody had the same idea. Ouch! Oh, that hurts. I made contact with Isaac. Oh! Ooh, I'm taking some serious fire. Guys, this is not good. There's so much high grass in the way. I'm not able to get a clear shot. Oh dang, I gotta keep my balloon behind this tree. That's all that matters. I can take as many shots of the body as I want. Oh gosh, this tree is taking a beating. Oh! Oof! Dude, he just lighting me up. Oh! Oh, I got hit in the head! Ouch! Oh! Oh! Retreat! Retreat! Oh, I got absolutely lit up. Okay. Guys, uh... Okay, guys, I'm gonna do a charge. It's gonna hurt. Where's the dickens? Ah! Oh! Ah! I got no. him. I got him. No. Dang you it. down? Down. Down? Okay. Guys, I gotta be careful. I'm, I've come pretty far away from my base. I don't want Andrew to sweep in out of nowhere. He's in the ghillie suit. I'm also out in the open. I know where Justin's base is. Don't know where Andrew's is. And I'm hoping maybe Andrew attacks him from the flank. Taking a shot. <laughs> I see him down in the grass. Oh gosh. I put my mask back on. I see him. He's aiming at me. Where'd he go? I gotta take Andrew out before Justin comes, otherwise. Oh! He just fired his first round to hit my base. Oh! Dude, he's letting off shots. Oh. I hit him, but not the balloon. In his base. Whoo! Guys, he has some serious range. I do not have that kind of range on this gun. He's retreating. Where's he going? I saw Isaac. I think I hit him in the shoulder with one of my bolts, but didn't get the balloon. He's in his base. It's been hard to snipe him in the base. I have to go with the assault. What Isaac and Andrew don't have? Special Forces Handbook. Literally, from the Department of Army. So, est estimate, estimate, 
an estimate of the situation. My mission is to, the mission assigned and analysis thereof to include a sequence of tasks to be performed to situation of, and, ah. Uh, you can't even read! This hill right here in the middle is by far the best vantage point. I can watch my own base and keep an eye on Justin. That's Isaac, right there. Oh! Oh! Ah! My gun jammed again. See, look at this. Nothing's happening. Oh, you're running backwards. Retreating. I'm moving in on his base. My gun's not shooting. Why are you serious? I have the most expensive gun and it's not shooting. You better defend it. Come to Papa. <laughs> that structure doesn't look too good. Come out with your hands up! Yeah. Guys, I don't want to kill Justin because then I can't kill his main thing. Ooh. Ah. Man, that revolver hurts. I gotta get back to my own base. I gotta make this quick. Oh, popped his main! Ah. Guys, I took out his main balloon. If I kill him right now, he's you're dead. Oh my, what? Oh gosh. Yes. Oh, oh shit. I'm still good. I'm still good. I only have the revolver now. Oh guys, he's going, he's going towards my face. I gotta cut him off. Please tell me my balloon is still here. Yes. Andrew did not come get me. Okay. I just made it to a bunker. Alive. I need to reload. I'll leave eight bullets in this. So I gotta make them count. I just popped my own balloon on these nails. Guys, that was crazy. That was a pretty good move from Justin with the tent. He was able to get away, so he's still in the game. I think I'm gonna prioritize defending now. And I also have to blow up a new balloon. Guys, my gun died. All I have is a revolver that only holds eight shots. I also can't see out of my mask. I'm at major disadvantages right now. Look at this, dude. Seriously? Airsoft mask. We have this giant bunker here. I'm getting my breath back. This is like the most inefficient, dumb way to reload and I get my energy back in this bunker. I have to make a break for either Andrew or Isaac's balloon at their home base. If I can take out their home base balloon, I, I'm losing thoughts, brain cells. I'm gonna book it for Andrew's base. I'm pretty sure he's somewhere over here on the other side of the bunker, but his sniper shouldn't be able to hit me unless his aim is top tier, which I don't think it is. I have to take my mask off because it still fogs up. I put it on, immediate fog. Make or break it. We're gonna go out swinging instead of camping. The schmuck running towards my bitch. There he is. some automatic fire. Oh, I see Andrew. Okay, I guess Isaac's base it is. Unfortunately, Andrew saw me, so I wasn't able to get a good advance on him. We're going back to 
to square one, guys. Where'd that green freak go? I don't see him. Why is he Isaac? He might be out of range. He's in the wide open, though. Oh, Andrew's right up there. Oh. Guys, I have a pretty good vantage. <laughs> His head sticking up. Oh, he's behind that tree. Where's Justin? Justin must be dead. I have an idea. I'm up over the hill. <laughs> I see Isaac's base. Right there. If I keep a low profile, he won't spot me. I can literally see Isaac, but he can't see me. Dang, Justin must not be in there anymore. Guys, I gotta get out of here. He's making his way to my base. He's going back to base. Dang it. I could have broke for it. Guys, I made a super stupid mistake. I forgot to snap in my pistol. And so when I was chasing Justin, it must have flown out. This is what I built this fort for. Defendability. Oh, I see him. Oh, right in the top of the head. Oh boy, this is not good. Isaac and Andrew are in a gunfight right in front of me. Andrew didn't see me, thankfully. Okay, now's my chance to attack Andrew's base. He's completely distracted with Isaac. If I can run to Andrew's base, I might be able to take him out. He's never gonna hit my balloon. I'm behind the board. Ow! My fingernail. Out. Oh, not good. Not good. I'm getting out of here. Yeah. He's definitely not here, guys. Sorry, Andrew. Shouldn't have left your base. <laughs> Let's go, boys. I see Isaac in his fort. I don't know what he's doing. If I can somehow sneak around the left side. Oh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> guys, I was literally just reloading. Who is that? Oh, it's Andrew! Oh gosh, guys, I have, my balloon's exposed. I have to prioritize my personal balloon so I can escape just like Dustin did. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? No way I just got melee. are you kidding me? Oh, thank goodness he killed my personal balloon and not my main one. Guys, I gotta refill my balloon fast. My plan now is to sprint back to the bunkers and hopefully lure them inside so I can do close quarters with my revolver. I surrender, I surrender. Oh, you. <laughs> I gotta go get a new balloon. Mission failed, we'll get him next time. No way. Guys, I literally just watched Justin kill Andrew snuck up on him from behind. That's crazy. I did not know Justin. I thought Andrew had killed Justin ages ago. Guys, I literally snuck up on Andrew and got his balloon. That was the most intense. My heart was racing. He didn't hear me. Oh, and I got his base balloon. He had no idea either. Looks like it's just Isaac and myself. So I'm loading back up my handy dandy revolver. Time to go to the bunker. Looks like Justin has posted up in the bunker. That's his new, looks like that's his new base. That's gonna be tough. I'm gonna let Isaac know I'm in the bunker, but what he doesn't know is I'm leading him into a trap. I have a foolproof plan that if it works, this is gonna be the most clutch dub of the year. Let's get it. Looks so cool if this works. I'm not gonna pop out, he has no idea. Let the games begin. There's little gaps in the door that he could very easily shoot from. I was definitely expecting him to be right there. No way. He set, he set up little barricades.
did you? Oh, you snuck out the roof. <laughs> yes. Dang. Oh. I gotta get back to my base. Justin's gonna be right behind me. Yes. No way, dude. I can't believe I got Isaac. Oh, dude, that's, I don't know why I'm so excited right now. He's probably gonna think I'm still in the bunker. Go down here. He literally could have snuck all the way over here and taken out my main base. I don't see him. My only advantage is the fact that he still only has a revolver and probably only has a couple bullets left. I don't want to let him get to my base. I want to attack him at the bunker again. That was crazy. I can't believe he did that. I still have my main balloon and I haven't lost it. There's no way I'm letting Justin beat me with just a little revolver. He's about to feel a whole lot of pain. Oh, there he goes. Oh boy. Oh, the good old fashioned trench warfare. I got my balloon. There's no way. Okay, this is like, this is my only lifeline. Did you just take my balloon out? Sure did. Ah, what do I do? Oh no, not the bunker. Oh, no way. <laughs> Guys, I'm just gonna have to take a lot of pain. This is my only hope. No! Surrender! Ah, put your hands up! Come out with your hands up! Okay, okay. I couldn't see. Oh. You were right in the sun. Good game. My head. Dude, you were cracked. You hit me right on the top of the head. Oh, really? And I you was okay? Like, oh yeah, I'm fine. Let me see. Oh. <laughs> Dang. That was a cracked move. I didn't know if the right shield was legal, but hey, I, I had to try something. Do whatever you can. You were smart to run over here because look, direct sunlight oh. and, and I was just look at my Oh, fucked up. I, and I was just see the whole time. You in the top of the head. <laughs> well, that was a blast, but ouch, it hurts. I've got so many welts on my hand. Oh, yeah, right there. The zingers right off there. the top of the head. Good battle. Thank you. Uh, let us know if you want to see more big team battles. This was just a hint. Plus, Adventure Club merch. You didn't know about that, did you? J2Shop.com. Leave a like. We'll see you on the next video. Goodbye. What the? Ah. <laughs> oh. Just. We just got to Shields and they have the air. So <laughs> here in front of the airsoft blaster section. So we each. They're not specializing in airsoft, but we can make some. We can make some things. Industrial Glade. Yeah. The Paratrooper. I didn't have a name for it.